Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video, I have a second generation Ford Edge and I will be talking about most common problems and issues with this vehicle from my own experience as a car dealer and also by doing research what other owners are reporting. This video will apply to Ford Edges made from 2015 all the way up to 2024. Now, first I wanted to say uh, don't get discouraged after watching this video every vehicle every make every model will have its own issues and problems and these Ford Edges are actually quite good SUVs and quite reliable but like any vehicle it will have its own small issues now I will start by talking about uh, possible transmission issues with these vehicles now I've sold so far maybe 20 of these Ford Edges 2015 and up and uh, quite often these vehicles come with check, check engine light on and codes uh, showing P0011, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, P0019, 21, 22, 24 or 25 and those are all transmission codes now it's nothing too major to be worried about but what happens uh, problem is the vct solenoid and i had to replace probably at least 10 of those uh, small debris uh, causes the, the vct solenoid to stick and that will cause uh, some minor transmission issues and uh, the codes i just mentioned now you have two options on how to fix it you can try clearing out the vct solenoid or even better just replace it and that will fix the problem now much bigger problems with the transmission are reported lately uh, i haven't experienced this by, my, by myself but lots of owners uh, did so what happens vehicle starts to uh, hesitate when accelerating and jerking at slower speeds and that is a first sign of the transmission problems and most of those owners uh, took the vehicles to four dealers and the transmission had to be replaced and I'm seeing more and more of these uh, reports um, like I said I didn't experience it by myself but that is something maybe to keep in mind I'm recording this video in 2024 so these uh, vehicles are, are still quite new but in the future in like two three years if you are watching this uh, maybe just pay attention to the transmission take it for a drive make sure it shifts uh, smoothly there is no jerking and there is no hesitation when accelerating okay now the second problem i will mention uh those are the oil leaks um so what happens some actually most of the ecoboost engines will have oil leaks from the turbocharger oil supply line and the drain tube and the fix for that is to replace the seals and the lines as well um so we've had like i said 20 of these vehicles and i'm gonna say maybe eight of them i had to i had this issue and i had to fix it and also if you do research online this is one of the most reported problems this is not too bad and not too expensive fix but it's something that has to be fixed so if you are buying this vehicle on the market make sure to inspect uh, all the lines uh, uh, the engine and check for the oil leaks okay now i will talk about one uh, unusual issue so if your edge is equipped with uh, towing package and you have a trailer connected and the vehicle is turned off what might happen the parking lights will stay on and they will drain the battery overnight um, now the fix for this that's actually the software issue so you will have to take the vehicle to a ford and they will have to update the software in the trailer module called trm so you, so you cannot fix it by yourself it's the software issue okay next thing i will talk about a very very common problem with the ford sync uh, now what happens the screen might go blank and, and you won't be able to use any of the options 
or you will have problems with connecting your phone or listening to the music via Bluetooth or your backup camera will not be working or uh, all these controls will be very slow and non-responsive and the problem is with the fourth sync so what you have to do in that case um, I will offer you a couple of solutions so first thing you might want to do you might want to try the soft reset so set everything to factory settings and that should reset it so if you go under settings it should be under general and scroll all the way down and if you select the reset here's the master reset if this doesn't fix it your other option is do a hard reset to do that you would have to remove this cover access the fuse box and remove the fourth sink fuse and then reinsert it and that should fix it if that doesn't fix it your third option is to update the fourth sink and you can also do that by yourself you don't have to go to a dealer luckily these vehicles are equipped with uh, now depending actually which year do you own if you own a newer one then you can do it uh, you can connect this vehicle through a Wi-Fi to your local router just be parked close by and then you can go under settings uh, automatic updates and you can scan for updates and then it will automatically update your software mine is up to date right now um, you can see here is the Wi-Fi where you can connect in case your edge is not equipped with the Wi-Fi then you can also you don't have to go to a dealer you can go to a Ford website enter your VIN serial number and download the update to the USB and then you will connect the USB to the USB port and it will update the software for you and one of these three things should fix this very common problem okay i will also mention something that reported quite often online to be honest i've never tried it so the problem with the rear seat central uh, uh, seat belt so what happens uh, lots of people reported once you buckle in you cannot release it for some reason and that's like the factory factory problem but i believe ford issued the tsb and they should be able to fix it for you so the cent a seat belt bucket sticks and doesn't want to uh, release the next thing I will mention uh, now these are all small things but still worth mentioning it's the blower motor so what's the blower motor it's responsible for the fan right so I had to replace it actually twice on this Ford Edge I'm sitting in right now and almost on every Ford Edge I I had for sale um, so what happens first the blower motor starts to get loud and you will hear that uh, like uh, squeaking noise when the fan is uh, working the higher the fan speed more squeaking you will hear and then eventually the blower motor will just fail and you will not have a fan but again that's quite simple fix I believe blower motor is around 150 200 bucks if you go aftermarket or if you go oem it's gonna be twice that but to be honest the oem quality is not really satisfying so you can go with the aftermarket i guess and uh, you should be good okay now the last problem i will mention is with the power leaf gate these vehicles have uh, problems with that quite often it stops working i had that case a couple of times and it's one of the most reported issues online as well by consumers now uh, the problem is again only in the software so the software needs to be updated by a Ford dealer um, and that is ex exactly called RGTM rear gate trunk module has to be updated and then this will work so again a software issue okay so that's pretty much everything i have to say about ford edge like i mentioned on the beginning of the video don't get discouraged um, by this information all vehicles have problems and ford edges actually are quite quite reliable and don't have too many issues 
uh, if you're on the market for, for one make sure to test drive it uh, so you can see how it shifts and everything is good it accelerates fine and check for any oil leaks check for any burning uh, oil smell when you drive it especially when you stop at the traffic light things like that go under the vehicle inspect it underneath make sure there is no rust make sure there is no any major oil dripping down anywhere or things like that there is no uh, structural damage vehicle is quite comfortable spacey it has very high safety rating so i believe it's a good pick uh, as a family suv thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful and educational if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my youtube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos do-it-yourself videos car reviews product reviews and other similar automotive topics